Uh, point number seven, which is the latest research regarding our neuroendocrine tumors. It is the last point of my presentation. Latest research. Doctors are working to learn more about NEDs, ways to prevent them, how to best treat them, and how to provide the best care to the people diagnosed with this type of tumor. The following areas of research make sure you offer your patients to the clinical trial. Always talk with your doctor about the best diagnostic treatment option for you. The first one is immunotherapy, as described in type of treatments. Immunotherapy uses the body's natural defenses to fight the cancer by improving your immune system ability to attack cancer cells and resources are testing new cancer vaccines on neuroendocrine tumors. Another special area of immunotherapy research is looking at drugs that block a protein called PD1. PD1 in the surface of the T cells, which are the type of white blood cells that helps the body's immune system fight diseases. PD1 stops the immune system from destroying human cells. So, stopping PD1 from working allows the immune system to better eliminate the disease. The US Food and Drug Administration FDA has approved a PDF1 inhibitor, Aetzolizumab, in combination with a drug. And chemotherapy for the treatment of small cell lung cancer. Neuroendocrine tumors of the lungs are used to use by the experiments of Itzolizomab shows the need for immunotherapy, especially in those with the lung neuroendocrine tumor. Also, Process therapy combined with the antibody drugs is a faster target of healing and being explored. In CAR cases, quality transmission by removing the pain and assistance body blood. Then the cells are changed, so they have a specific program on protein by receptor. The receptors allow the change T cells to progress the cancer cells. The changed T cells are then returned to the body one where they can cause destroying cancer cells. Next one is targeted therapy and compound treatment. As noted in the types of disorder research and research continues on the targeted therapy. Um, monoclonal antibodies are the type of targeted therapy that blocks tumor growth in different ways. Some block the ability of tumor cells to grow and spread. Others find tumor cells and help to destroy them and carry tumor destroying substances to them. Chemotherapy support neurotoxin tumors have many properties that healthy cells do not research to develop more. Smart chemotherapy that only attacks the tumor cells, not all the cells generated. As described in the spectrum, diabetes of M1A are known to be first for developing NED. Researchers are interested in diabetes and more to learn more about this and other related risk factors as well as role medication or changes. Genes play in NEDs. Peptide receptor inhibitor therapy research is underway. How to improve? How to improve the peptide receptor inhibitor therapy for neuroendocrine tumor studies are looking at the ways to improve the ability of tumor cells to attack the beta peptides. How to use peptide-based receptor nucleotide therapy to eliminate a very small species of neuroendocrine tumors and ways to reduce other organs being exposed to radiation? What's new in the peptide receptors, radionucleotide research and development? The current focus of PRRD researchers includes studying the use of Radio pharmaceuticals in conjunction with other biotherapies and chemotherapies, repeated administration of nucleotide therapies, increasing the number of indications for this therapy, including other diseases targets such as 
uh, bronchopulmonary neuroendocrines, heochromyphemis, and paraganglion masses. The two radiopeptides together to isotope different peptide specific peptide receptors radiation therapy imaging and circulating biomarkers intra organ administration. Currently, there are several clinical trials that are evaluating the use of peptides, isotopes, and combinations to further enhance the efficiency of the peptide receptor radiation, including therapy for the immunoglobulin tumor patients. The last point of latest research is palliative care and supportive care. Clinical trials are underway to find better ways of reducing symptoms and side effects of current treatment for NED to improve comfort and quality of life for patients. Thank you so much. That's all for my presentation. Thank you so much for listening. Please support this channel and subscribe to Sir Hamad Mujib.